Oof, I win. Ah! The dangers of the Boiling Sea are so overly exaggerated. Yeah, not a single one of them seems interesting. There, there. You can always join my do-nothing-all-day club. How about a do-nothing-all-day-but-kiss club? Scar, look! What do you think? Uh, flyer derby? Isn't that just a poor man's grugby? Uh, I take that back. I don't know, I'm not that into sports. I wasn't really enjoying it back when I was still a Banshees member. You see, flyer derby is more fun because you can choose your own style of play. You can play grabber if you have quick hands, or you can play forward if speed is your thing. Playing defender means you get to protect others, being a planner will put your strategy skills to test, and as the captain of a team, you... Wait, wait, you can stop now. I'm in, you had me at strategy. I don't know, it doesn't seem safe. You can strategize things without flying around 80 kilo steps per hour, you know. Right, like doing nothing all day would help. Don't worry, Bay. I'll be careful. See you after the game. Mm. Your boyfriend should totally touch some grass. Well, he's not really a go-getter kind of witch, but unlike Bosha, he's never pushy. I feel comfortable around him. Besides, he is such a charmer, don't you think? Ooh, a snail. Call Darius. I found some incredible recruits at Hexide. I'm earning my place, just like you told me. Mm, eyes narrow. Psst, that boy with an hair noodle. I think he's an undercover scout. Caleb, an undercover scout? Right. What is he busting us for? Speeding? He said something about finding new recruits. And he's definitely- And he's definitely not a real student. Oh, 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 he's a talent scout looking for flyer derby talents. You think? No, it's too risky. You gotta back out of this. Ah, you have never taken risk. And see how well that worked out for you. Uh, that's kind of a bullshit thing to say. Anyway, stop worrying. If he really has bad intentions, I'll punch him right in the face. Ah! Scout down! Ouch. Wait, wait, everyone. Calm down. There's no need for violence. Leave them alone! You need something, kid? Oh, no, I'm good. Fled! Skara, what do I do? What do I do? Puddles! 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 Listen, the Emperor's Coven is taking everyone away to who knows where. We've got to save them or we'll lose them forever. I'm not making this up. Oh, look, I know we ship different things. I ship Scar with myself and you ship Visky. I'm not good with ship names, okay? Ah! But in the end, we all just want Scar to be happy. I know Viney and I have different ideologies in life, and my personality might have held Scar back more than I'm willing to admit. But it doesn't matter now, they're in danger, and I need you to trust me. <sighs> what do I, what do you say? Let's go find them. Just don't try anything stupid and you all will be fine. <sighs> He'll regret underestimating us. And if I ever see that Caleb guy again. <laughs> uh, you can cry? Uh, it's my fault. I'm the reason you ended up here. I kept pressing you to do things. I didn't realize I was acting exactly like, like Bosha. Uh, no, it's not like that. I wanted to better myself. And you always gave me just the right boost of motivation. I really appreciate that. This whole thing isn't your fault. Well, it is kind of our fault for not believing Fled, but you know. But hey, without you, I wouldn't have been my own boss. And I'll never let anyone take control of my life again. Gotta act now. It's all over if we reach the castle. I can distract him with illusions. You may see right through it, though. We need a plan. Huh, a plan, you say? Well, it could be worse, I guess. So, are you gonna play professional flyer derby? Maybe, maybe not. But I'm sure I'll figure out what I want to do eventually. That's the spirit... Hmm? Is that Puddles and Fled? Where are they going? Uh-oh. A coven head? I'm not ready for a boss fight! Wait, Blood, get it together! I won't back down this time. You deal with the Caleb guy, Puddles. I'll handle this one. Where are they? You know this guy? Nah. Oof! Oh no! Blood! He's not responding! I got this! Where? Wait, wait, wait! I'm awake! Why did you think you could take on a coven head? Think, Blood! Think! Your arm is bleeding! Skara, go get a bandage. Okay. Thanks, I feel better now. Hey, I am sorry. For what? For not believing you back then and... For my offhand comment about your lifestyle. I thought you were lazy, but... You just wanted Scar to take one step at a time. You are a pretty good boyfriend for her. <laughs> oh, I am um, sorry I compare you to Bosha. That wasn't fair. I mean, you changed Scar's life after all. What? 
What? You are exaggerating. No, I meant it. Scar wanted to achieve great things, but I wasn't really being helpful. I'm just not good at dragging her out of her comfort zone, I guess. For the three years I've known her, not much has changed. Then you showed up and... Boom! She's like a daredevil now. Whatever you did to help her, it's working. So please, keep doing it. Okay, I... I will. No one has a bandage, I'll just use my handkerchief. What? These things are full of germs! I'm sure it's fine. Um, who is the doctor here? <laughs> you are impossible! Stop! Grab that kid! Let's just go! <laughs> go, I'll be fine! Skora! No, I... Come on! Viney! We can't just leave her! She can totally escape on her own. If we get caught, we'll just slow her down. Yeah, but... Uh, this way. Wait, you're walking to a... I don't solely rely on vision. Oh, right. Bat. Here, we hide in the portal room until... No, you stay there. I'll be right back. I'm sure Viney is fine. She's probably on her way here. No, I want to help the others, too. Scar, you are putting yourself in danger. I'm as tough as Viney fled. You believe she can handle herself, right? Then I can do it, too. You don't have to worry about me, Fled. I can handle anything. Scout! Fled! <sighs> Are you okay? It's just a stunt spell. I'm fine. I'm sorry. Nah, the scout took you by surprise because you were talking to me. Do you feel dizzy, nausea, or... Skara, you are worrying a bit too much. It was my fault you got hurt, Fled. I should have listened to you. We'll stay here until things calm down. I'm not going anywhere. Mm -mm. But you still want to help others, right? No, I... It doesn't really matter. Skora, I think you should go. Trust your gut feeling. You don't have to stay just because of me. You wanted to do great things, right? Then you gotta take some leaps of faith. The last thing I want to do is make you feel... hindered. Don't worry about me. Go do your own stuff, okay? Okay, be right back. What? What you just said. It was about our relationship, wasn't it? Found a hideout! Aha, uh -huh, gotcha! Are you breaking up with me? No, 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 I mean, kinda. Ugh, what am I saying? This is awkward. Duh. Maybe skip these two, sir? Yeah, yeah, let's just keep backing up. I think it wasn't fair to you. You met me during a very stressful time. You clung to me because I was the only one you felt comfortable hanging out with. Mm, Vlad, that's a big green flag. Yeah, but you feel comfortable being with your new friends too, right? Scar, if you met me for the first time today, would you still think I was special to you? Among all the others? Or would I be just... another friend? I... you were always special to me, Fled. But I get what you mean. Maybe I had mistaken friendship for something else? I... I don't know. It's all so confusing. Hey, hey, no rush. You have plenty of time to think about it. Do what you need to do now. Maybe we'll get back together someday, or maybe not. But I'll be there for you either way. So go. Go kick some scout butts. <laughs> oh, you bet I will! Fled, thanks for everything. <laughs> oh, ouch! No! Shut up, kid. <sighs> Bliny! Let's find the others. Behind you! Ah! Don't move! You are such a troublemaker. Nothing personal, kid. <sighs> hmm? Yeah, nothing personal. Are you okay? I wanted to say something snarky, but... I'm just glad to see you. S -s -s same Give me a sec. Okay. You and Flood had just broken up, Skara. You seriously can't be this desperate. Aha! In your face! <laughs> I appreciate it, but I already have a crush on someone else. I wasn't talking about you. I'm glad we came across him on the way here. Is he gonna be okay? Dude just got knocked out. He'll be fine in a few minutes. Is Flood doing okay? Um... <laughs> did you two break up or something? How did you know? Um, it's written all over both of your faces? Well, I've changed so much in these few months. We pretty much want different things now, I guess. Don't worry, there are plenty more Silkodomus in the Boiling Sea. They are endangered. Oh, right. Also, Viney, something keeps bothering me. I, I need to talk to you. Stop. Stop, Bellos. Before he kills everyone. Did he just say kills? I knew it. This whole branding thing isn't just about multi-track. Something big is coming, Skara, and you don't need Oracle Magic to tell it's going to be bad news. Oh, wait, sorry, what were you just saying? Oh, nah, never mind, it was nothing. I'll tell her when all of this is over. It's going to be over soon, right? 
Please, Bosha, let us form a search party and bring people back here to safety. I don't know, that means more mouths to feed. That also means we'll have more people to look for resources, which we desperately need. Yeah, we are out of hairspray. We're not helping, Mad. They might bring in people with bad intentions, or worse, people who can challenge our authority. Good point. No search party, that's final. Now back to your patrol duties. Mm. Told you she wouldn't listen. Come on, let's get into town. But Bosha said. She told us to patrol. She didn't say where, did she? You nasty rebel I'm in. <laughs> mm? <laughs> what are you going to tell her? T tell her what? Come on, half the school knows you have a thing for Viney. Oof. Fine. Maybe. It's just, now is not the best time. I want to wait till it's all over. Girl, just tell her. This whole apocalypse thing has taught me anything. You want to say something to people you really care about? Don't wait until it's too late. You never know when you will lose your chance. You know, I'd give up 10 years of my life just to see them again. Oof. <laughs> months. I meant months, not years. <laughs>